Oh shit, that was way too close. Hello friends and thank you for joining me for more coverage of Elite Dangerous. It's fantastic to see you all here again. Welcome to this brand new video. Let you sit back, relax and enjoy as we talk about five things that you absolutely must know for Elite Dangerous. Now as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns or suggestions, make sure to help out the rest of the community by leaving them in the comment section below. Gonna have to slow it down. Oh shit, that was way too close. Well. Coincidentally, that's going to be one of the things that we're going to be talking about in the video, and that's going to be, well, first of all, how to avoid hitting the broadside of a planet, but secondly, how to get out of Super Cruise safely. But the first thing I want to talk to you about is the fact that, and I'm sure everybody knows this, I love my docking computers, and the reason why is because I can actually do things while my computer is docking, and that includes setting the destination to my next location. Try it out, and I'm sure that you're going to find that the time that you save is well worth it. If you've never seen the advanced maintenance panel, there's probably a good reason. It's kind of out of the way on the bottom right hand corner here. And even though we do have all the options to refuel, restock and repair, we're going to go down here because this is going to give us a little bit more control with our ship. In this panel, you can choose exactly what you want to repair, what you want to restock and how much you want to refuel. But more importantly, on the top right hand corner, you'll see something called ship integrity. That's something that's not included in the auto ship repair outside of this menu. And it helps to repair your hull and your armor, your ship's integrity, your ship's structure. Something that's really important if you don't want to become a bunch of space dust. Now, if you want to restock, you can restock weapons separately right here, if that's something that you're into, or you can actually refuel 10% at a time to save some money. And uh, that's a pretty cool feature to have, and I think not a lot of people know about it. Moving on, let's learn how to get out of Super Cruise safely, but to do that, we'll have to exit the station. So as you saw earlier, we nearly hit that planet and that's a really dangerous thing to do. The best possible way to get out of Super Cruise is to make sure that you're about 7 or 8 seconds away from your station at which point you want to lower your throttle down to 75% or somewhere in the blue zone. Now you can use a planet's gravitational field to help slow you down and I've done that a few times and it's really really cool because it slows me down just enough to be able to get out of Super Cruise but you're looking for this little blue text over here that says that you can get out safely. That means that you're at the correct speed and within the correct distance. And if you pop your Super Cruise button right at that moment, it's going to spit you out literally about eight kilometers in front of the station. Now, if you have a docking computer like I do, you can literally just boost once. You can get close to the station within about seven and a half kilometers proximity, and you can ask the station to dock. At that point, you can retract your throttles all the way and your ship will do the rest. Now because of the way that this ship looks, it is also one of my other favorite ships in the game in addition to the Python. And if you'd like to see a ship overview on that, please make sure to drop a like and let me know and I'd be happy to do it. Now, whether you're flying the Asp Explorer or whether you're flying any other ship in the game, you'll want to make sure that you have full control over your modules. Now there are two great reasons for this, and the first one being that you want to be able to tell your computers which modules are most important to you. That way, if anything happens to your ship, they can shut down the least important ones and keep the most vital of which to get you out of a hairy situation. The second, it's a little bit more of a convenience factor. You know, if you can't afford the next A-rated power plant and you've only got a B or a C, you can disable modules that you don't expect expressly need at this very minute and it will reduce the power draw from your power plant thereby allowing you to use the modules that you want and need to use right now. Wow. 
Well, the fifth and final thing that you need to know is maybe not quite as important or vital as the first few, but it's certainly still very valuable information to have and something that will help you on your journey with the engineers. That, of course, being materials and data storage. Now, your ship, unfortunately, does not have unlimited storage for either of these two things, and you're going to want to manage your inventory carefully in order to make sure that you have enough so you can save up for your engineer. On the right hand side of these you can see different icons and those represent the rarity of the items that you have. Once you click on any one of these it'll show you at the top left hand corner just how rare it is as well as the icon it'll have it in writing as you can see right here. And you can hit left and right while over the discard button to select how many you'd like to discard. At that point just hit the discard button and you'll discard that many items. Very simple. All right, my friends, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was fantastic having you. If you'd like to join this community, I'd be very humbled and grateful if you would subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the bell icon so you never miss a video in the future. And if you've got some of your own hints, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you absolutely loved the content on this channel and would like to help support me, I'd be grateful if you would obliterate the shit out of that like button. And also check out some of my partner links in the description, including Humble Bundle, where you can pay what you like for video games, help charities and get amazing games at the same time, and Soundstripe, where you can find royalty-free music for your videos just like the music in mine. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, fly safe.